Electric ferries are making an entrance uh, and they're hydrofoils. Candela make electric boats and hydrofoils and they're pretty good. Now one that they make is called the P12 and it's the world's first hydrofoil ferry and it's just started operations in Stockholm in Sweden. But first of all, let's just take a quick look at their website. So here we have Candela website. I mean, these boats look wonderful. And they've got the P12 there, as you can see, which is their ferry. Um, we'll have a look at its uh, specs in a minute. But basically, hydrofoil reduces the drag so you get more miles sorry nautical miles out of your uh, boat so let's just scroll down uh, they're making hydrofoiling electric boats and ferries um, and uh, energy use is cut by about 80 percent and they're silent and fast and zero emissions and so on um, I mean, these just look wonderful. So here's the P12. It is fast. Um, normal ferries run at around the five to six knots. This does 25 knots. So it goes five times faster. Um, and then you can get your personal craft. I'm not sure I could afford that, but the C8 and the C7... I mean, these are electric, absolutely brilliant. So um, this is Gustav Hazelskog, or however you pronounce it. My apologies, Gustav. Um, he's the founder and CEO at Candela. And he has stated that we aim to transition to fossil fuel free transport. Good thing. Uh, with superior efficiency hence the hydrofoil, and environmental benefits. Traditional ferries are polluting, costly and slow. Yeah, definitely. Their hydrofoil technology unlocks the potential of waterways, offering quicker, more comfortable and cheaper journeys, reducing road congestion. Now, they've gone Stockholm, but New York, Bangkok, there's even New Zealand are interested in these. Um, so... These, I think, should go great guns. Um, they've got good hydrofoil tech. They haven't just gone and done it. Um, they've developed uh, hydrofoil tech. It's carbon fibre. And if they hit a submersible, like a log or a rock or something, um, a small one shouldn't affect it. A big one uh, will uh, break it off. But it's got um, break points so that um, it uh, will break in a predefined way so as not to damage uh, the hull or other things quite so badly. So all up, this looks good. Let's have a quick look at its specs. I'd like to get your attention, Joseph. Notice you're not subscribed. Pop down there and subscribe. Thank you very much. So if you go to the P12 web page, uh, you'll get this, um, the electric commuting. So, range. Well, it's just gone. <laughs> it was on there. We'll come to it in a minute at the bottom of the page. Um, I like the look of this. I think it's brilliant. Um, so, it's an innovative P12, the world's first high-speed and long-range electric shuttle ship. Try saying that quickly. Um so it's got a few different variants down here. Uh, that looks like a bit of a luxury uh, version. Um, but it's a wonderful idea. So let's get down to the details, shall we? It's just about 12 metres in length. Uh, it's 4.5 metres across and it weighs 10 tonnes. Now it can seat 30 passengers and one crew. Uh, propulsion is two of its uh, Candela C-Pods. You saw that a little while ago. 
batteries are for 63 kilowatt hour batteries and it will charge up to 175 kilowatts on a DC charging and also somewhere I did see 10 to 85 percent in about 45 minutes and you know it's got to stop well plug in offload the passengers onload the passengers shut up unplug and go you probably get enough to keep it going for a while now it's service speed service speed 25 knots as i said that's a lot faster than your standard ferries uh 40 nautical mile range at 25 knots service speed so look that's pretty good um charge it here we go dc 775 kilowatts charge time 0 to 85 percent approx 45 minutes so all up yeah, that's not bad maybe if they could um develop slightly faster charging like up it to 250 bring that time down to 30 minutes that would be really really good so when Candela unveiled the P12, uh, they've tagged it the Nova and um, it took its first flight, which took about 30 minutes and traveled 15 kilometers um, to Stockholm City Hall uh, from a quiet suburb of Tapström. Apologies if I got the pronunciation wrong. Uh, so this was a, a pilot project run by Candela, uh, Traffic Verket and Regional Stockholm. Um, so they're, they're trying to investigate how well it's going to go with the hydrofoil technology, with emissions free. Because, you know, the Scandinavian countries are very much into emissions free. Just look at Norway, 94% of new cars registered last month were electric vehicles so they're getting the idea there um so it can cruise up to 25 knots um which is well above the the old diesel ferries could do um so look this is still a pilot project but i think it's going to be great um if it they say it's going to cut energy consumption by 80% and it will be emissions free, obviously. So all up, look, I think that as a city water transport option, this is great. We need more of this. Um, Perth City Council, we've got diesel guzzling ferries just crossing the river from the south to the north bank literally just going now i can see where they're going they come back stick one of these in there um that's got to be the way to go surely what do you think of this idea of hydrofoil ferries personally i love it i think it's got to be the way to go yeah it's a bit smaller at the moment but i'm sure that they can um gradually make bigger ones uh, but you know for certain uses 30 odd passengers has got to be more than enough as i said running across um the swan river uh from the south bank to the north bank here in perth it only takes um the ferry well it takes about five minutes because it goes chug 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 this will do it in 30 seconds um and create fewer uh waves that's the problem with bigger boats they've got to uh, that without the hydrofoils, they create these waves and banks on the river are uh, uh, damaged, but these don't. So I like it. What do you think? Comment below. Thank you very much. And uh, can you think of any other places? I know that um, they're interested in Saudi Arabia, New Zealand and Berlin. Why not in Australia? So... Thank you very much. Don't forget, make comments below. Now, while you're down there, yes, there's that like and subscribe button. Pretty please do click them. Uh, it really does help the channel. 
And of course, down in the description, there's the link to my Kofi page if you want to help out in other ways. Thank you to everybody that is. And um, if you want to uh, use my Tesla referral here in um, Australia, you only get $350 off now. They've halved it, but hey, it's not to be sniffed at if you get a discount. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.